guys, Katrina here in this Apple Weenie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm out today, out, out shopping with my dad. He's over there somewhere having a cigarette. But uh, sorry I wasn't able to upload this today. You'll probably be watching this on Saturday. But uh, uh, today I have to go for an echocardiogram, which is quite complex procedure, especially here in the NHS, but uh, uh, I'll be wired up to the hilt. Uh, but today, they're actually there now. I was uh, just getting my wheelchair, out of my wheelchair and into my dad's car, which is a 4x4, and I stood up out of my wheelchair and this elderly person came along and stirred at me like I had two heads because I stood up out of my wheelchair. As I have said before many 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 times ambulatory wheelchair users exist. It is totally normal for a wheelchair user to either move their legs whether it be voluntary or voluntarily or involuntarily or for a wheelchair user to stand and take a few steps like I can. It does not mean that they're faking it or anything like that. So please don't stare when you see somebody in a wheelchair stand up from their chair. Oh, thank you for watching. Hi guys, just back from the hospital. My heart is okay. She must have took about 20 or 30 pictures of my heart. Uh, anyway, I had a really stupid brain fog moment. I left the house without my keys. And I was in a rush. We were, well, my dad was driving, but we were in a rush to get across the city. If you know what Belfast, you know where the, the Royal is, the Royal Victoria Hospital. Uh, we were in a rush trying to get across the city in, in rush hour. And in the middle of it all, I left my keys in the house. But I didn't realise until after my hospital appointment when we were on, in the car on the way home. And I thought I had left him in the consultant's room. It could have been, could have been a handling getting out tomorrow. <laughs> I have another appointment tomorrow, but I left him sitting in the house on top of the bed. Now, if that isn't a brain fog moment, I don't know what is. Anyway, she said it's a standard test for people with ehlers Danlos Syndrome to monitor the mitral valve in case of a pro prolapse which can ha happen with us but uh, I'm absolutely wrecked now but uh, tomorrow I'll go and get my flu job done and then that's me anyway if you like this video please like comment and subscribe by clicking below uh, on my channel, I talk about both sides of disability, the good and the bad. Uh, some channels only focus on one, on one or the other. I focus on both because there's, there's two sides to every coin, as I say. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.